I'm back. Um, it's half eight p.m. and I just like basically finished my video making for today. And I open Reddit, and this is the first thing I see. Wait, well, you can't see it. It's a post by Scott talking about the leaks. I'll read it to you. <laughs> so, I woke up to a barrage of uns upsetting emails. For this fan base, the day a major corporation spoiled the next major release of the FNAF franchise was the most important day of their lives. But for me, it was Friday. But seriously, this is obviously very frustrating for me. But not that surprising anymore. It's just another day in the life of FNAF. It makes me really miss the days of just making everything myself and handling everything myself because at least then I had someone I could trust and even then sometimes I'd let myself down by spoiling anything. I'm sorry to everyone though. This isn't the way I wanted to introduce the characters. I wish they'd at least used the finished artwork or even the finished concept art. Instead they uploaded a low res, desaturated, compressed, watermarked thumbnail of concept art that they photoshopped together themselves. Obviously I'm disappointed, but trust me when I say that Steel Wall is on top of things. The game itself is looking amazing. Few things really from that. Um, I feel sorry for Scott more than um, he feels sorry for us. What? I think Scott should just do things himself. Oh, he said Steel Wall was doing amazing, so well done to Steel Wall. Um, obviously FNAF VR was a massive success and I'm hoping this one will be a massive success too. But I really think Scott should take a step back and just keep doing things himself rather than relying on other people. Um, I, I do feel sorry for Scott. <laughs> I honestly, this morning when I uploaded that, that other video um, about the calendar, I did say something about it being a very unsaturated and obviously there was watermarks on it um, and it didn't look like the best piece of artwork I'd have, I've ever seen in my life. Um, the fact that Scott is saying it should have been better um, is a good thing. Um, that just means that when the release of the game is out um, it's going to be so much better than we all thought. Um, but unfortunately all the character names are spoiled, uh, and the name has been spoiled of the entire game. Or has it? Yes, you see, Scott loves to play around with us, um, and apparently, Pizzaplex isn't the name of the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. I actually... What? There's two things that could have happened here. Either Pizzaplex was just kind of there to mess around with us and to make us think it was intentional in a way to make us think that it was that. Or he's changed the name of the entire game. <laughs> and I don't know which one it is. But it's not called FNAF Pizzaplex. So that's that theory over. It took about a day, 24 hours, to realise it's FNAF Pizzaplex. Oh, wait, no, it's not. So, yeah. That's kind of weird. Anyway, that's all I've really got to say today. Um, I really need to just relax my, my head. <laughs> um, but I'm really liking this. I'm really liking that Scott is talking to us, and Scott is one of the best game creators in the world. He's really talking to us, giving us teasers, and apologising to us when it's necessary. Uh, even though he doesn't really need to apologise to us, actually. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, there'll be more FNAF news sometime um, soon, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!